All right, what's up everyone? We're back in the garage once again. And uh, I just wanted to do, do like a first impressions video on a car care product. Uh, it's something that, uh, you know, it'd be really nice to have. Do you really need it? Mm, probably not, but it's something, uh, something for pretty much your tires or wheels, tires and wheels, um, and maybe potentially your car. I don't know if you really want to take it that far, but uh, this is basically an a electric foam spray of sorts on Amazon I got it from. Um, this one, I've uh, used it once, so this is going to be a first impressions video, but so far I do really like it. Um, I've been searching for one that works um, when it comes to electric ones anyway. When it comes to like the hand pumping ones, that those are fine. But, um, you know, it comes a point where it would be really nice to just be able to just spray, not to like tire out your arm or anything like that, uh, which I have like the Marilex over there, just sitting over there. Um, what do you call it? The IK foam spray over there. The little one, right? Sitting over there. So this guy has been fulfilling that pretty well so far. I've had uh, one other one, which is, which, um, I don't know if I can grab it right now, but um, so while I was uh, soul searching for that electric foam sprayer, um, this is what I found first, right? Uh, it actually worked pretty well the first time, but the second time I used it, it just died. It just randomly died. I tried charging it, nothing happened. It just, yeah, see, it's on the on switch, uh, the on position, nothing, right? Which is, which is such a shame because it's such a cool little product whenever it worked. Uh, put out some good good foam and everything, but um, now I'm just stuck with this big old bottle thing, right? You can't even like, you know, use it for like a um, air pump, right? And stuff, even if you put a tire valve on it. But what I could plan to do is just use the, the body, right? Um, just to hold liquid and something like that whenever you wanna clean out your sprayers and such. So that's junk, unfortunately. Um, if you ever see this, uh, I would stay away from it. That's uh, that's my personal thing. It might have, it might work for other people, but for me, it only died after two times. This guy right here, right? Even if it does die, um, you can still kind of use it as like a um, manual pump sprayer because you can just like pump it up with air, right? With your uh, after adding on a tire valve, theoretically, right? And then this, you just hit this button and it'll shoot just, um, uh, shoot out the product. Because theoretically what this is, it's just an air mini, it's just a mini air compressor because when you hit the button um, like this, it's pumping up air, so. And then here's a relief valve right here, which is pretty nice. Um, I think it does leak a little bit, so the relief valve is a little iffy. But, you know, uh, what it will do is just it'll just keep pumping itself. So if you want to be a little careful about the battery, then yeah, just keep turning it off and then turn it back on. Let it crank up a little bit and then you can spray. Which is the only down, one of the downsides of this uh, style of foam sprayer because you won't be able to spray right away with that nice um, foam. Cause sometimes this leaks potentially and it'll just like kind of half-ass it. <laughs> but I like it so far and I like this um, style because of the versatility. Um, like even if this part breaks down, I can still just use it as like a regular air pump sprayer. You know, come in with the, uh, what you call the air compressor of sorts, whether it be a tire compressor or not, pump it up and then you just hit the 
um, little hit the lever right here and see how it already um, the product is coming out like that. So there's no motor for this when you hit this, like on like this, right? That's the thing about electronics, right? You can't really replace it. You have to, well, you can't really repair it. You have to replace it completely by buying another one, which is a, which is not a, a great thing in the first place. Whereas this is a little more mechanical. It's a little more analog. It's a more, a little classic style, if you will. So even if it does, this, this part breaks, that's just the air compressor. So you just take another air compressor, which is either here, right? The tire pump over there, my, well, not the car, but um, over on the other side, I have my air compressor over there. And so I can just take that after adding a tire valve, you know, plop it in there. And um, so I can still use a sprayer. I, has, I still have another sprayer, right? Uh, theoretically. But we'll see. We'll see how this one, uh, how long this one lasts. Because essentially, again, this is just an air compressor. So it should be simple enough to um, last for a decent amount of time. Uh, it was only 35 bucks ish so that's uh, my experience with this so far. Uh, right now, I still have like a half of um, uh, the amount of, what is it, uh, Nano Skin Wheel Tire Cleaner. Pretty cool. Um, little liquid, right? Uh, I think I have a one to five mixture. Uh, I may I may play around with it, maybe like one to eight or maybe one to ten even. Um, and then just use a microfiber towel to really clean it up, right? Because that's pretty much uh, most of the work anyway. It's the um, that microfiber towel in theory. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much my first impressions overall for this uh, electric foam sprayer, right? Key, key things to take away from is that uh, you have to let it pump up first itself, right? But it's a built-in motor air compressor of sorts. So, you know, you hear the boom sound, um, let it, let it uh, run for a little bit, and then you can um, spray away. And when you do spray away with this on, it'll continue to keep pumping and pumping and pumping air, therefore becoming that continuous foam sprayer. But when you want to start it back up again, you may have to uh, let it pump up again and then um, let it spray. So, but you could see, you could argue that that's the same thing with those hand pumps, right? Because you have to pump up the thing again with your hand and then you spray. So it's like the same principle, yeah. So um, you're just taking you're just taking out the muscle out of the equation and just using the motor to pump up the thing for you. So yeah, I mean. If you want to think of it like that, then it's the same thing uh, in theory. So, so um, buy this style. Don't buy this. This is junk, unfortunately. Um, this is probably the better go-to anyway. So it's it. There are similar ones out there on Amazon. There's like a bunch of them that have the same style, uh, the same parts. Probably this part is a little different. Maybe it could be like white, a little bit more clear. Um, but this this uh, black one right here, you can still kind of see it's tran translucent, but it's very thick, like plastic. So this is pretty nice. It's like pretty hefty feeling. So if you, maybe if you even like drop it or something, I think it'll last uh, pretty long. So as long as you don't drop on the motor first. But I think even the motor part has some thick plastic around it. So the construction is definitely there. Whereas this is like a little more fragile. So what's like... Uh, one less point as well. So again, this guy right here, uh, maybe the potential go-to for you guys to buy. So um, if you find this video useful, please uh, hit the like and the comment and subscribe. It really helps out. I, I do appreciate it. So are you guys looking for a some sort of like electric foam sprayer? This might be the guy right here. Who knows? If you want to crank out five, uh, 35 bucks, for yourself have at it and uh, let me know how it goes for you guys leave those comments in the comment section below as well so this has my sort of first impressions video for this um electric foam sprayer we'll see how long it lasts maybe i'll do like a full-fledged review 
or something or do an update. And um, yeah, so thank you very much and hope to see you all in the next one. Shout out.